Okay, this time I did not forget to press record. So, For Jasmine by Boa. This is um, going to be a little bit of a more difficult tutorial compared to the others I've posted so far, just because the chord changes are a bit more awkward. We'll start the verse by playing um, your open D, G, B strings, and then your third fret on the high E string. You're going to want to play that with your pinky because after that we're going to add the B string third fret and the G string second fret. We'll go between those two chords three times. The fourth time you're going to play that first chord the same. I believe what happens on the original recording is they bring it up here, so the D string 7th fret, G string 6th fret, B string 7th fret, and your E string 5th fret. Now it's much easier and you can get the same chord just by playing your 2nd fret of your top 3 strings. Um, so that's what I prefer to do. It just makes it a lot easier to flow. Now the rhythm on this is a bit tricky. We're in 6-8. Um, you're going to strum that chord just once and it's going to be on the fifth beat. So we've been going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And on your last bar, you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I hope that makes sense. I'll write all the rhythms out in tab on screen here and hopefully it'll be clear. Moving on to the chorus. I start the chorus with a full E chord. That's open, two, two, one, open, open. I believe in the original recording, they're only playing that bottom string low E note. And it's easier if you play it that way. The reason I add the full chord is just for fullness um, because I am playing this like solo acoustic. So from that E note or E chord, whichever you choose to use, we'll move to this kind of F sharp chord thing. Uh, you'll play your second fret E string, uh, then your A string on the fourth fret, D string on the fourth fret, and your G string on the third fret, leaving your top two strings open. You'll go between the E chord or note and that chord three times. Or. And then to finish off this chorus progression, we'll do an A chord with, that's your open A string, and then you'll bar your finger across the second fret of your G. Uh, sorry, D, G, B strings. You can also bar it across your top string, and you'll get that second fret on the high E string. I hear that coming through sometimes in the original recording, so you can play it or you can not. It's up to you. Then from there, we'll move up to the second fret on your A string, bar across the fourth fret of your D, G, B strings, and again, you can include that top string if you want. I tend to see people do this chord shape using their ring finger, but I actually prefer my pinky. It's just more comfortable for me, but uh, whichever you prefer. So to end the chorus, it'll be like this. So here is the entire chorus. I'll play it once with the full E chord and once with the E note. all there is to this song. I hope this was clear and useful. Um, if you have any questions, of course, feel free to leave comments, and I will see you around.